Hello everyone, this is Jordan Rogers, and today I'm going to show you a short demo of the Essential Asset Monitoring Solution for air-cooled heat exchangers. Let's get started. The first screen we see here is the home page. From here, you can see the status of each asset being monitored. Right now, all the assets are healthy, as indicated by the green boxes and the health values shown. I am now going to dive in for more detail on the air-cooled heat exchanger. What we see here is the air-cooled heat exchanger's process display. You'll notice the health value is reported at the top left along with any active alarm text. Right now, the exchanger is healthy, so there is no alarm text shown. You can see the value and status of each input on this page as well. This particular exchanger is a fixed louver, fixed pitch, variable speed fan. However, this could have easily been a variable pitch or a variable louver position fan. In those cases, the application would use pitch or louver position in the same way as it uses speed. The calculated values are shown on the right. Those include changes in the process fluid and air temperatures, along with calculated heat transfer coefficient and fouling factor. Let's now go over to the inputs tab. On the inputs page, you can see the current value, the average, and the baseline value for each input. There is also a trend window available here. I'm going to add the overall and peak view vibration values to the trend. To do that, simply click on the value for each input you would like to trend. The baseline values represent a snapshot of the data that has been captured under normal operating conditions. Once the baseline is captured, all alerts are calculated as a deviation from this normal operating condition. I am now moving over to the Configuration tab. From here, you can configure the alarms. To see the details for the alarm configuration of a specific input, simply click on the input name. You'll see the associated dialog box open up on the right. You can click the question mark for more help on configuring alarms. Let's make this demo a little more interesting and look at the case where the fan is experiencing high vibration due to resonance. The active alert is now for potential resonance condition. This is a warning alarm. To understand what triggered this alert, I'm going to add one more value to the trend. This time, I'm going to add the speed. The reason I am looking at this value is because there are known resonance frequencies for the fan's motor. By looking at the speed, we can determine if we are operating in the known resonance bands. At this point, none of the vibration inputs are high. Let's look now at the conditions that cause the resonance detected alert to be active. Keep an eye on the vibration measurements of the trend. You'll see that the peak view 1 value is increasing and is now high. Look at the health value and alarm. We are showing 35% health and a critical alert for resonance detected. In this case, we are looking at multiple parameters to determine the fault condition. Now that we have high vibration and are operating at a known resonance speed, the severity and confidence level of the fault have increased. Let's now go back to the process page. We can clearly see the critical health and the resonance alert active at the top left. We also have an indication of high vibration with the flashing red text. With this indication of resonance problems, the user can now make changes to the operation of the air-cooled heat exchanger to no longer operate in a resonance band. That concludes the demo of the Essential Asset Monitoring Solution for Air-Cooled Heat Exchangers. I hope this has been helpful to you and that you can see the benefits of monitoring the health of this asset. Thank you.